Good morning, Oklahoma. <laughs> this was my lovely spot for the night. So I pulled into this truck stop. Where am I? I'm in Billings, Oklahoma. Yeah, I pulled into this truck stop in Billings, Oklahoma last night after uh, getting on the turnpike and going in the wrong direction and then having to turn around on the turnpike and pay again. And um, I actually only had to pay half. They were pretty nice about it. But uh, the turnpikes here just are weird to me. <laughs> uh, but truck stops are generally very noisy. And the only parking I saw that was decent was in the trucks only area. And I hear that truckers get kind of pissed off when, when people park in their spots. And I can see that. I mean, they're 53 feet long, or at least. And uh, for me, 29 feet, just taking up a spot that they might need, I can see where they might get a little upset about that. So I didn't want to, even though it wasn't crowded, I didn't want to park in there. Uh, that's their place, you know, I get it. And uh, the parking spots for cars, I, they were big enough, but boy, it would have gotten a lot of traffic right outside my rig all night. So across the street from the, from the um, truck stop is this empty gravel lot where something used to be. And I saw this even in the dark and I thought, hmm, I'll come over here. I inspected, I didn't see any no trespassing signs. So uh, I pulled up here away from everything and it was really pretty relatively quiet uh you know a couple big jake breaks in the middle of the night uh but the freeway over there i barely heard it's actually interstate 35 i think interstate 35 barely heard it a uh, couple loud cars throughout the night but not bad at all i've definitely stayed in much worse so you know sometimes uh taking a chance really can pay off and looking around and seeing not settling <laughs> that's my thing i guess i don't settle I kind of like that actually. That's kind of cool. That can be a, an ongoing theme, really. Not settling for uh, the life that I was dealt. Not settling for the life that I was told I should want. Not settling for the life I built. <laughs> and now not settling for just any old camping spot. And uh, you know, with every decision that I make, there are um, pros and cons and things that I need to weigh and consider. And when I'm in the national forest, that means sometimes, uh, knowing that they're going to be straight strange sounds capone might be on guard sometimes but uh you know the payoff is i get to have solitude and i get to enjoy beautiful wonderful nature all to myself for the most part and in this case i took a chance of being over here all by myself uh on private property probably but it wasn't listed and uh you know no harm no foul it's it's all raised it's not like it's not like I'm hurting anything by being here. And I got a relatively good night's sleep. Not bad, actually. So I don't like truck stops because they're extremely noisy. If you've never slept around a bunch of running trucks, then you have no idea how noisy it can be, especially for someone who lives in the woods most of the time. So, uh, but I didn't have much of a choice. I uh, took a bunch of wrong turns last night and I just woke up, so pardon my appearance. I haven't even washed my face yet. But telling Google to navigate to Clayton, <laughs> uh, it started navigating me, and I had no idea what state Clayton, what Clayton, what state I Clayton was in. I knew the camp I wanted to go to, but I didn't know um, if it was. I knew it was near New Mexico, but I wasn't sure if it was Oklahoma, Texas, or New Mexico. And I navigated toward the wrong one for just about 20 minutes. But all in all, between going out to that campsite that didn't work, I probably wasted an hour, hour and a half. And so I just ended up here. It was about 6, 6.30 by the time I pulled in. And uh, hitting the road, I'm only gonna go about three hours today uh, to another camp I found on a lake that sounds really nice. So it's about three hours from here. Before I had, I was gonna head straight to New Mexico today, but it's still like six hours. So I'm just gonna go three hours and um, then I will spend the night there. Cause you know, I, I just, I need to get some work done. And uh, well, you know, I always need to work. And uh, I'd like to go for a walk. I haven't gotten any exercise in days or weeks it feels like. So this is camp to the last night. This was camp. I'm gonna have coffee, eight bucks over there for a shower. And so I'm gonna go take a shower. And, um, and then I'll hit the road. It'll be nice to get to a camp hopefully early today and have some time to go for a walk and just not 
be cramped inside my RV where I feel like I've been for a while. All right, all right, I'm gonna gather my dog, go take a shower, make some breakfast, and hit the road. Hey, bud. Pony, come on. <laughs> Since I had no idea how the shower thing worked, I thought I would share it with you. I've never taken a shower in a truck stop before. So you go up to the counter, you pay your eight bucks, they give you a key uh, to one of the shower door showers down here here's a hall with all the showers I got number five make sure the door is shut inside will not lock but outside will lock oh okay so this is the shower. They even give you towels and soap. <clears throat> I brought my own. I think I'll probably just use my own. So back to my days of uh, when I used to travel for work a lot and stay in hotels. One of the things that I hated was the smell of bleach on, um, on sheets when I'm laying in bed in the middle of the night until I was in a hotel, you know, and my company didn't always spring for, you know, the five-star hotels until I was laying in bed one night and the sheets were colored and they didn't smell like bleach. <laughs> and I was in a funky, where was I? Like a funky Motel 8 in Santa Barbara and it was gross, ugh. So yeah, these cannot be bleached. Yeah, so I'm not feeling too good about that. I'm not the cleanest person in the world, but no. Oh, look at the shower. I'm excited. It's not bad. <clears throat> yeah, I'm good, this isn't bad. Excited about a real shower. Okay, I got a little bit prematurely excited. Not a very good things you find in Oklahoma. Check this puppy out. <laughs> Literally. Look, this is a dog park. A lot of the rest areas I've seen in Oklahoma have these really cool dog parts. Look at this guy. Look how cute he is. Hi, puppy. There's another one, a big bulldog. All right, I gotta go get my dog because, you know, of course he doesn't come towards the dog park. Do -do 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 Nope, he had stores the garbage. You wanna go in? <gasps> you wanna go in? Come on, what do you think? What do you think? Billings, Montana, no, Billings, no, I'm in Billings, um, Oklahoma. <gasps> you wanna do the agility? Look, can you get up? Look, look, get up, come on, up, 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 up. <laughs> He's like, I'm too old for this shit. Up, 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 up. Where was I? I think in Georgia. Was it Georgia? I think it was. There was a, a cool dog park in Georgia at a little rest area. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Gabon likes it. Yep, pee on the fire hydrant. No, you're not gonna? No, a tire. He pees on every car tire he sees. Bird, it's cold. see <laughs> can you see what's behind me Ross I'm hardly ever in the mood to shop but I was just that's kind of a bad angle but I was just driving through Enid Oklahoma and I saw Ross and it's cold it's like 40 something degrees and uh, it's been really cold and it was easy access into the parking lot and I was been like well I needed new sneakers um, so I got new Skechers walking shoes they're super comfortable so can't wait to get to camp and go for a walk and 
paw holders <laughs> because I'm sick and tired of burning my hands every time I pull something out of the oven, trying to wrap towels around it and just always seem to kind of burn through. So some festive fall pot holders. And I really went in there looking for a, um, I want like a big um, zip up sweatshirt something with what do they call it like not a fitted bottom I'm sorry I'm looking at myself I used to have a sweatshirt years ago and it was just you know kind of boxy it didn't have the fitted waistband it was just kind of hung and I really just a slouchy is the word I'm looking for I just really want something slouchy just to wear while I'm driving or to wear around camp and they didn't have anything like that in there but yeah boxy you know how like a lot of and I'm gonna see if I can hold you with my feet while I do this here sweatshirts and stuff you know they kind of go like this and they have the fitted waist well I don't want a fitted waist I just want it to hang like down to my hips so I went in there looking for something like that and I couldn't find anything I like Ross I used to shop at Ross a lot and uh, so anyway I couldn't find the sweatshirt I was looking for uh, but I ended up buying this sweater it's just an open sweater and I don't know I'm just kind of sick of my flannels I guess they're last year's they may not fit me as well as they used to, to be honest with you. And they look kind of stained. So, um, you know, I mean, the way I live, stuff just kind of gets uh, gr dirty, brown, you know. And even though I wash them on a regular basis, they don't seem to ever look quite clean again. So when I'm out in town, which I've been a lot lately, uh, you know, I'm all showered and everything. Uh, anyway, I bought a new sweater. So, yeah, went a little shopping today. Stop to Starbucks, which, you know, when this weather is the way it is, cinnamon dolce almond, no, cinnamon dolce almond milk latte with half the sweetener and an extra shot. That's my drink. Mm. That's my winter drink. Mm, it's very good. It's my afternoon pick me up winter drink, which is weird that I like all this frou-frou because in the morning I drink very strong, hot, black coffee. Anyway, all right. Thanks for hanging. Bye. Oh, look at oh, what do you think? Are you cozy? You want to go for a ride? You want to hit the road? We're going to go to camp. Oh, let me add. That's kind of I'm enjoying this instead of pounding out the miles and, and, and planning eight hour days. I'm planning a three hour driving day and it gives me the opportunity to stop Enid, Oklahoma, big city. I don't know what the population is, but I was really surprised when I drove in on 412 West, how big it is. And there was a cute little park I thought about stopping at. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I should stop and shoot that. Oh, I should stop and shoot that. Oh, I should stop and shoot that. Oh, that would make a great shot in a video for a montage. And oh my God. Um, but if I did that, I'd never ever move anywhere. And I'd be stopping like every five minutes. And uh, as much as I love shooting good videos and having plenty of scenery to use, uh, I actually got quite a bit yesterday. I just, I can't stop everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Heading to camp. See you there. Or before. Maybe before. What do you think? How does it look? <laughs> I like it. I do. I like it. Because it is acrylic. I don't know what I was thinking. I just, you know, it's, I hate, this is why I don't shop. I hate shopping. I'm a bad shopper. I pick something up. I don't even know how much it costs. I just say, okay, I like it. I try it on. <laughs> and I buy it. Uh... I think it'll be alright. Alright, see ya.